It is Friday night, probably like 9 o'clock, just hanging out. I'm going to try to get some work done on the car. Um, I made a video. It was really shitty um, because I didn't have the camera pointed at most of the stuff when I was doing it. But it was pretty much just uh, an overflow, which we'll, I'll show you later. I just got to clean off the car. Um, but this is the new garage. Pretty much the last video we did the overflow and I just went over the new garage. Here it is. We got all my toolboxes set up. I got a TV. Um, I took up to a computer and a stereo. And I did that just in case I ever work on something and I don't know. I do YouTube other things so I can learn. Because um, I don't know everything. Nobody does. But... And yes, I'm surrounded. All these shelves are full of Fox body parts. I got hatches, doors, a ranger door, another door. Um, and then on top of the car, we have two GT bumpers. I mean, I'm just opening. There's a little hole up here. Let's see. Is that in the shot? Let's hope. That's the attic. And there's plenty of parts up there. But anyways, I'm going to clean off the car. And in the other video, which I don't think I'm going to post because it came out so bad. Um, I snagged this trick flow intake for steel. Um, it's the track heat. It's a little bit older. It's just missing one of the studs here. And then two, the two long bolts. So I got to order those, which that'll made up nice with the BBK 70 mil. And then the GT40P heads and the stage one trick flow cam. Um, now on those, this video... Um, hopefully I'm going to install the trick floor, at least the lower intake of it. Um, so my thing was, I want to do all new injectors, which I have them. And they're just stock 19 pounders. And I figured, well, if I'm going to go all the way and do the injectors, why not just go the extra step, step and throw the trick flow on for the summer? Because, excuse me, my plan is to build the motor over the winter. So I can enjoy the car as much as I can this summer since I'm in New England. And we only get so many uh, months to drive them around here. But that's the plan. Um, so let me clean off the car. Get this stuff. I just went to Walmart, bought some brake cleaner, RTV, um, spray paint, a couple other things. And I want to paint this too. Um, I had it hot tanked or parts cleaned. So I'm going to try to sand it down. And then I want to do wrinkle black on it. Um, I mean, that's classic. Good old wrinkle black. But pick that up. So let's clean up a little bit first, and then we'll get into it. Also, two other things on a side note. Uh, first being is anybody local in the New England area, like obviously I have plenty of parts, so I uh, try to sell them. Um, I created a page on Facebook. It's called Connecticut. Nope, nope. It's called Fox Body Parts of Connecticut. Um, look it up. Give it a like. Uh, my eBay's on there. The YouTube link's on there. Um, but pretty much I just, instead of constantly posting on Craigslist and all that, if I just get enough local people to like it, then they'll just see all the parts I have for sale in one place. And then when I get new parts in, or not new because they're all used, but when I get new parts in stock, then I post them up there and all the locals can see. And I will ship nationwide, so if anybody's interested in anything, trim, whatever, I mean, I have plenty of stuff. There's plenty of stuff upstairs. So that's the first side note. Secondly, which I didn't film this, but... This was the bumper on my car, and you can see I took it off. Um, I am, and then I had new, there's one on top right here, but, um, ground effects, rear spats, whatever you guys want to call them, they were on here, and I took them off, um, and then right here, I just happen to have LX trim pieces, which will fit on there nicely. Nope, this is the other side, but either way. Those are going to go on, and I want to switch to an LX bumper, rear bumper, and these ditch the ground effects in the rear, um, only because I like the look of the LX tailpipes better with the chrome coming out, or the polished tips, whatever the hell you want to call them. And I'm not a big fan of the GT exhaust where it turns down like this. And these are also leaking, so I figured while I change these out for this season, I might as well throw in an LX. So I started this, and I'm still on the hunt for an LX rear bumper that's in good shape and the tailpipes that are in good shape and for the right price. But we got a couple swap meets coming up in the next couple weekends. So I plan on going to the local one at least. And I mean, I see them there every other year. So 
with my luck this year, they probably won't be there, but I'm hoping I can come across a set of like just Flowmasters with LX piping out the back for a cat back. Grab those, throw those on, and then as well, um, I have these Steeda, which I just want to scuff them up real quick and repaint them. Uh, lower rear trailing arms that I'm also trying to throw on. So to get this ready for the season, trailing arms, exhaust, LX bumper. Um, and trick flow intake with new fuel injectors. And, uh, then I want to go and paint the car at some point this summer. I'm not in any rush to do it. I want to wait until the weather's good since I'm going to spray it here. Um, uh, but that's the plan. Sorry for all the talking, but let's get down to business and let's clean up and get going on this thing. Quick, before we get started... Um, I just want, since I have the hood open, this is the overflow I did a video on. Um, so to sum that video up real quick, it's a $23 overflow tank. I got off uh, eBay, came with these brackets, these bolts, this tank, which is, tank's actually nice, this hose, and I put it over here for now. It's temporary. Um, I want to, this car has a battery, re battery relocation that the previous owner put in the lower um, quarter panel beneath the floor of the car. Uh, but when I trying to get this car running last year, the wire went bad from the relocation to here. So I just gotta replace it when I get the time and when I get the supplies to do it. Um, so this is just temporarily on there for now and here. And then once that's in the trunk, I will take out the battery tray again and I want to shave the engine bay and clean up wire tuck it and then uh, we'll relocate the overflow over there but anyways for now what we got to do is we have to, to get to the injectors which is the main goal uh, but while I'm at it why not put the trick flow on so to do that we need to take off the cold air intake disconnect the throttle body um, take off the upper intake plenum, plenum, whatever you guys want to call that thing. Um, and then obviously plug all the holes to the thing, remove the wiring harness from the upper intake um, and relieve the fuel pressure. Um, so there's a couple things. Uh, probably get the wires out of the way, distributor out of the way. Um, and yeah, so to the fuel pressure though real quick. There's two ways to do it. Either pull out the fuse or flip the inertia switch, which is the fuel cutoff. If the car is to flip over or get hit in the rear end. And then just run the fuel out of the line by running the motor. It's 10 o'clock at night, the car's loud. So there's a Schrader valve. Um, somewhere up here. I forget where it is exactly. Right here. Um, and you just put a flathead, Phillips head in there. Obviously get a rag when you do it because it is gonna piss out gas. And gas is nasty uh, to get over on your hands and all that. And the smell doesn't go away for a while. So make sure you do that. And then once we relieve fuel pressure, then we can get into it. Um, so I'm gonna start by disconnecting the cold air, which I've never, honestly, I've never taken the top end of this motor part or the cold air, never taken the valve covers off. Um, and that was all going to be this coming winter's project is to go through motor bottom to top, delete all the smog and emissions through the silver smog pump. The AC doesn't work in this car. Uh, and they don't even make the gas, I don't think, anymore for it. And you have to switch over to a new gas system, which is like 800 bucks, I think, to get the whole new kit. It's not worth it for me. I have T-tops, whatever. So I'm just going to delete the AC as well over the winter. Delete the AC lines. Clean up the whole thing. Um, and I want to stay fuel injected, obviously. I did think about going carbureted, but then you lose everything, essentially. So the wiring harness is useless, you got to run your own wires. And for a car this new, per se, uh, I just like to stay fuel injected, which I feel like is a lot more expensive to go that route than it is carbureted, um, to make power at least. Uh, I say I'm a lot, but anyways. If I had an older car that was originally carbureted, then I'd go all for it and do all that stuff. Or if I had a different car that wasn't fuel injected from the start, then I'd go carbureted. But anyways, we're going to stick to fuel injected. Let me shut up, stop talking, and we'll get to work. Okay, 
Okay, the next thing to do is, obviously there's vacuum lines on the throttle body, and there's vacuum lines on the intake under it, down here, and in the back. Um, I am replacing this with a BBK 70 mil throttle body, which is over here. So I have to transfer everything over to this as well. Um, car's not painted yet, so I don't really care if I scratch it. So I'm going to go and do all the body work anyways. But, I tend to forget a lot of things, so taking pictures on your phone where the vacuum lines connect to and whatnot is a good idea, especially for someone like me. So I'm going to do that, take some pics real quick, and then I'll continue tearing this apart. And honestly, it'd be a lot easier to take off the hood, but I don't, I mean, obviously this fiberglass looks light, but I don't feel like doing it by myself. So I'm just going to leave it on for now until it gets in the way. Quick update here. Um, so obviously, so I got that piping off, and I thought my first, <clears throat> excuse me, my first approach would to be to get the throttle body off, the stock one, because I have to transfer all these parts over to the new throttle body. Plus, I sh I'm gonna go and order some gaskets tonight and get those in. I also need to get the Trick Flow gasket for this. I need to find one more stud of these and the two long studs. Um, as well as I've also been, well, I sprayed this with some paint, uh, remover. So hopefully that'll come clean. Then I can spray that and get that all cleaned up. Um, but I'm just taking it slow, doing throttle body now. Of course, I have to order new gaskets, like I said, for idle air control or IAC, whatever you want to call it. Um, the TPS, I don't know if it has a gasket, but if it does, I got to order one. Um, and then I need the gasket for the trick flow and then I also need the Gaskets that go on the underside of this to the heads. So the intake gaskets to the heads and I think that's it. I think I named them all um, But I got to get on those that way you can start throwing it back together Obviously, this is not you could do this all in one day or one night. I mean, it's probably 10 o'clock right now But I'm just taking it slow this isn't my daily driver, although I wish it was, or I wish I had a second Fox that was my daily. But, so I'm just going through it, nice and slow, making sure everything's done right, taking pictures of everything so I can put all the correct hoses back together, which, back on that, um, with the hoses, I'm probably going to go and get a couple feet worth of hose and then replace all the vacuum lines so I know I have nice, good seals and there's no cracks in them that's leaking because I know these got to be at least 20, 30 years old. I mean, this... Is an 87 T-top, but it has an 89 motor and wiring harness in it. Um, so, I mean, that's 30 years right there, pretty much. So, if they're original, they're 30 years old. So, I'm going to replace them. It's a smart thing to do. I'd recommend doing it either way. take too long I mean I've probably been out here for an hour this is my first time doing it if I did it before probably would have went a lot quicker since I didn't know what I had to disconnect obviously when you saw that I took the upper intake off which is right here all those hoses I ran into I knew they were there I didn't know how to disconnect them from which ends and whatnot but obviously now I know since I'm taking it off but as you can see we got all the hoses off um, there is a spacer on this, half inch, I assume, or three quarters. And you can see this is the first time I've ever gotten down to this part of the motor. There's all this shit here. And obviously you want to put vapor towels in this, the runners, intake runners, as soon as you can to prevent any other shit like this falling in there or anything, dust, who knows. Especially if you're away from, I mean you should do it either way, but if you're away from the car for long periods of time. Like, obviously, this is going to be an ongoing project to do this for me when I get the time. 
But there you have it. The top intake is off. Now, the camera's about to die, but I'm going to clean this up. And we're going to take off the fuel rails, uh, get rid of the fuel pressure, and take off the lower intake. So, and then we're going to install the trick flow lower intake. I don't know why this is ground out here. It's no big deal. Um, but throw this on. Oh, maybe it's for a distributor to clearance. I have no idea. But we're going to clear, get that on there. I'm going to order the gaskets tonight, get that one painted and ready to go. And yeah, all right. Um, so obviously this is an outro for this video because I'm probably going to make it a two-part video or potentially a three-part video. So um, that being said, I just want to go over a couple things. This is where, as far as I got Friday night with the um, pulling off the intake, and I'm not going to go any further until I have the gaskets. I ordered all the gaskets, the bolts, everything I need. They're on their way here now. They're being shipped here. Behind me is the trick flow. Um, I painted this, and then I tested it to see if I could get this back, and then I'm going to polish the letters, I think. But the wrinkles didn't come out as good as they're supposed to, which I believe this piece was too cold from sitting in the garage overnight when I went to spray it. And I sprayed it around 75, 70 degrees. So I looked up, there's a little trick where you can heat it up with a hair dryer right after you paint it and it should bring out the wrinkles more. So I'm going to go for a respray on this and hopefully it turns out a little bit better. So that's the plan for that. A couple other things I wanted to go over is Saturday, me and Alyssa started working on her car. As you can see, it's up on jack stands now. We need to pull the motor on this. And behind me, I have the motor that we picked up from the old, um, the old house. So I just moved that here. So that's here now, so we can get going. Um, we pulled off some of the tranny bolts. We pulled off the torque converter bolts. And there's just like two tranny bolts left, the motor mounts, and then that motor should come right out. Um, I will film some of that, but not a lot, obviously, because that's her car, and that's more of a me spending time with her kind of thing. And um, it's just, I mean, YouTube's fun and all. And filming is fun and all, but there's things I want to film, and then there's other times where I just want to spend time with her and not film. So I may film a couple clips on that, but not much. Um, I'll probably film when the motor comes out and when we put the new one back in. And then lastly, uh, my goal is to post after this video, excluding this Thursday, but from here on out, since I have a lot to do this car, um, I want to try to post a video, now don't hold me to it, but I want to try to post a video every Thursday night. That's my goal. Um, that way I can get all this content coming to you guys, more stuff out, and um, yeah, that's the plan. So, stay tuned for the second part of this video. Hopefully when we see the gaskets, hopefully I'll get around or get some time to get to it this weekend. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. But that being said, um, thanks for watching guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos because there's a lot more stuff coming with this car. And we have plenty, plenty of work to do to it. Thanks again, guys.